How are you feeling? Okay. A little groggy. There's somebody here to see you. Hey, Mikey. Mommy's awake. sorry about. You were sick. Turns out she and her husband met in AA. Obviously she slipped. Good call. It wasn't hard, considering my other choice was your stupid psych theory. Which was not stupid. I'm telling you, I'm gonna drop the end bomb if I have to. You're addicted to conflict. Did they change the name? You could have handled this patient without dragging Chase in, but the fact that he didn't want it and killed you. It's just like the fact you can't get a rise out of me. Where's the baby? Stable, but the lack of oxygen damaged his kidneys. She must have rolled over on it by mistake. Mr. Mason, I was there. Your wife tried to smother your son. That's impossible. Kara would never hurt Mikey. He knows. They said Mikey knows. You hear voices? They wouldn't quit saying that Mikey would be better off if... They were right. We've been trying to diagnose a seizure that didn't exist. She faked it when her husband caught her. I don't think she faked it. She just happened to seize right in the middle of drowning her child. I can break for the kid. Hey, take it easy on Foreman. He's playing with one lobe tied behind his back. Postpartum psychosis makes you want to drown her kid. The internal conflict triggers a seizure. You know what else might be a trigger? physical illness. It's a wild idea, I know, especially since she doesn't have any obviously physical symptoms like internal bleeding or excess calcium. I'll draw some blood. Test for a while. Ah! Jeez, you've done it again. Will you argue with me? Drinkers don't eat right. Explains the bleeding and the calcium. This might just be some crazy drunk, and I'm telling you that she's about to die of myelomatous meningitis. We already tested for Exactly. It's an insane idea. OK. What do you want me to do? Have an original thought. In the meantime, stress her into having another seizure. We can't. She's on haloperidol. You also can't because it's dangerous and highly unethical. Therefore, if you get caught, pretend you can't make coffee. Mental defectives get tons of slack. Take her off the haloperidol, hook her up to an EEG, flash some lights, make her pants, shoot her up with a placebo. When she starts twitching, if the machine twitches along, it's real. If not, I'll call the cops because she's a psycho killer. Mason, because of the damage done to your son's kidneys, his potassium is climbing. It's causing irregular heartbeats. I'm doubling the meds and starting him on dialysis. But unless we get his potassium down, he's going to have a heart attack. Kara, just another few minutes. Biopsy's back. She's negative for myelomatomous meningitis. And she's not seizing. So we're wrong and house is wrong. You're OK with that? She's seizing. She's not doing anything. Heart activity isn't accelerating. It's slowing down. Muscle rigidity, involuntary grasping and sucking motions. She's in an encephalopathic delirium. Hmm. Genuine physiological illness it rules out a few things. Like what, I wonder? Postpartum psychosis and conversion disorder. Think about being a good loser. You're still a loser. Ouch. 
The delirium means her brain is shutting down, reverting to its most instinctual functions. And since it's progressing, I mean, we can assume it's progressive, which means it won't be long before the brain closes shop altogether. Ideas? He's in VFIT. The potassium's still too high. No pulse, get him off the machine. Charge to 10. Clear. Still in VFIP. Another round of Debbie. Chase shouldn't be wasting his time in NICU. Could be Wernicke's. No, treatment for Wernicke's is thiamine. We gave her that together with a vino. Delirium points to lithium. I know we didn't find any, but... She'd have to be smuggling it in to be getting sicker. Whipple's causes encephalopathic delirium. The test was negative. The test could have been wrong. Ideas are not soda cans. Recycling sucks. Give me something new and shiny. Or go retro. Take an old idea, shine it up, and add a new symptom. Encephalopathic delirium. Pellagra. She drinks. Alcoholics get pellagra. They eat lousy diets, so no niacin. He agrees with me. What a shock. Well, you're right. Lack of niacin starves the brain. Neurons shut down, causes seizures, encephalopathic delirium, and psychosis. We give Kara niacin, she'll come out of her delirium, and she'll be totally sane. I don't think she's ever going to be sane again. Her son just died. Mason, is my son here? When were you born? Please, where's Michael? Is he okay? Do you hear any other voices besides mine? No, answer me. You've been suffering from delusions. They were caused by vitamin deficiency, pellagra. Made you believe things that were not real. Like the voices. I, uh... Remember doing things to Mikey. Were those real? I'm afraid so. So I... You tried to suffocate your son. But I... You... You stopped me. And, uh... That that other doctor, he he got Mikey breathing. Your son's organs were damaged too severely. He passed away this morning. Oh. 